sick and tired of ruining my sleep schedule. And you would be correct. But the thing is, I made a promise to you guys. I said I would read those five books by the end of April. <laughs> We've read three and a half. Really three and like a quarter. So before April ends, I have to finish these books. And I thought, what better way to do it than to ruin my sleep schedule? So here we are doing another 24 hour reading vlog. I always hate starting these, but I end up having fun anyway, so I'm not even gonna complain. We're gonna finish the last two books in my April TBR list, which are A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I'm 50 pages in, so there's that. Black Cake, which I know is gonna take me on an emotional roller coaster, so I thought it's kind of like chasing away medicine with sugar. Why not read? to all the boys I loved before because I love the movies on Netflix. So I'm like, this would be a great way to end this whole vlog. So my goal is to finish reading all three of these books. There will be no spoilers in this video. We'll probably go to a cafe and my library because you know I love my new local library. Your girl is a library girl now. And we'll sit there, finish reading these books and just have a good old time. So let me get my timer. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Before we start, like and subscribe now before I tell you what I'm about to tell you because this is a, a judgment-free zone, okay? You guys know how um, I randomly fell in love with Jimin from BTS, correct? I have to tell you, him and I decided to go our separate ways. Now, before you start crying, it's fine because I found not my boyfriend, but my husband, okay? Now, it's been on and off for a few months. I've been trying to figure out if I really like him or not. And I've concluded that I do. But I knew he was my husband when I saw those Calvin Klein photo shoot pictures. That is the only explanation I have for this. Are you ready? I have no excuse for having a grown man that I do not know as my screensaver. These pictures were too good. Look, look at it again. You thought I had the strength not to make that my background? You're wrong. You had too much faith in me. So now, John Cook is the love of my life. And I would appreciate if you wouldn't bring up Jimin because he doesn't like it. <laughs> but enough of that, let's get started. Let me get back to my timer. I really do believe today is gonna be a good one. I went to bed at like 5 p.m. yesterday. I slept all throughout the night. I slept most of the day today, and I also ate a really good lunch. So I'm fully fed, hydrated, and fully rested. That's a recipe for success if I do say so myself. <sighs> Are you ready? Goodbye, sleep schedule. All right, headphones, book, phone, wild, emotional support, internet best friends. So I believe that is 918. I am on page 200 in this book. It's gotten really good, I'm not gonna lie. I really like the dialogue a lot. I love how they're bringing in so many new characters and how they're all intertwining together. With thrillers, of course, like everyone, I try to figure out who did it, but this one is really hard. I can't pinpoint a single person, but I love how they're tying in the story together. I think Holly Jackson is a really great writer and I'm really happy that we started off with this book first. I don't feel tired, um, but I did make myself coffee just because I anticipate getting tired soon because this is around my bedtime. So I know I'm gonna get tired just naturally, but I feel really great now. We're also only three hours in, but regardless, I'm ready to go back in here and figure out what happened to this girl. As you were. Oh my goodness. I just finished this book. What time is it? It's 1.20 in the morning, 
So we've been doing this for seven hours. This book was insane. I mean, it was always good from the start. It was very interesting. It kept my attention the whole time. But like the last hundred pages, just rapid fire. So many things was happening. I was like trying to keep up. It was so much, but it was so good. It was very, very good. I don't know what I would rate it. And I don't want to get into the details yet because we're still going to do the April uh, review at the end of the month. But wow. If I had to pick thumbs up or thumbs down, it's two thumbs up. Very good. Such a great book to start off with. And I feel like I read that kind of fast too. Usually it takes me what? Like the first book is like nine hours. I read that in seven. So don't call it a comeback. The next one up is Black Cake. Let me go get that. So many people have recommended this book. I've been dying to read it for the longest time. So I am excited to read it. I just don't know what kind of mood it's going to put me in. But I am really proud that we finished that book so soon. So I want to keep up the momentum and see if I can read this quickly. So we are starting at 121 at seven hours and nine minutes ready all right children get tucked in he would have known it would come to this he should have known the day that he should have known the day <laughs> i can read y'all i swear but when it comes to reading out loud the brain and the mouth don't be communicating like that let's try this again He'd never seen one of those before. She was holding a fluff of white fabric, his daughter's wedding dress, smeared with black cake and lilac icing. She must have dropped the cake on herself as she jumped up from the table. He remembered a clattering of plates, the splintering of glass on the tile floor, someone crying out. When he looked forward, his daughter was gone, and her satin-covered shoes had lain strewn on the lawn outside their tiny capsized boat. This doesn't really sound like the book to be joking about, so I'm just gonna read this to myself. about 45 minutes into this new book, but I can already tell it's gonna be a life-changing story. So I wanted to get more comfortable and get some snacks. So I got ice cream. This is the Halo Top Cookies and Cream. This is my first Halo Top ice cream and it's pretty good. I got all my pillows, some water, a little blankie. I don't know why, but I love sitting on the floor. So we're sitting on the floor. It is 2.01. I'm ready to get back to the story. I can already tell I'm really gonna love this book, but I think it's gonna hurt me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna relate a little bit too much, but I'm excited to see. tell you this but <laughs> at approximately 4 34 in the morning I told myself hey Kalila close your eyes for 10 minutes and let's get back to reading <laughs> it is currently 7 40 I've been asleep for three hours and it legit felt like 10 minutes all of a sudden we're 13 hours and 28 minutes in. I'm on the hundredth page of this book. I've been asleep for three hours. I am so sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry, I don't know. Uh, we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. I'm a live awake alert enthusiastic. <laughs> Let's try to get back to this book. This book 
I'm like really trying not to cry here. I don't want to tell or say anything, but if you read Black Cake, 187 was like the page I needed to read. After reading all of this, 187. This is such a good book. Now I understand why people always rave about it. Oh my god, like I don't even know what to say. I don't want to give any spoilers, but wow. This girl went through so much. Just time after time, like, and I'm just like hoping to God that something happens to this girl that she actually wants to happen. Like, she deserves a little bit of happiness in this world. And I know it's not a real person, but oh my God, like, <laughs> I'm not, I'm like halfway through the book. I don't know what's going to happen now, but I needed that page because wow. It's currently 9.50 and my library opens at 10. I think we're gonna head to the library. I might just get a coffee from a cafe and we'll head over there just so I can stay awake and finish reading. I don't think I'll need a problem staying awake with this anymore because this book is truly incredible. But I think I need a coffee because three hours of sleep that I wasn't supposed to get is not enough to keep me up. This book really tried me. <sighs> I didn't even realize I've been holding my breath this whole time trying to figure out what's gonna happen to this girl. You know a book is good when you can have this type of emotional reaction. Like, books are really magic. It's insane. They can transport you to another world and just make you feel and empathize in a way that you've never have before. It's incredible. Books like this is why I read. Seriously. I'm so glad we got this book this month. <sighs> Let's get out of here. It is currently 11 a.m. I didn't realize today is Sunday, which means the library does not open until 1 p.m. So we will be sitting outside for the next two hours until the library opens. It is a little cold outside, but I'm okay because I got some snacks from Paris Spaghetti and I got some coffee. Look at how delicious. And I'm halfway through Black Cake. It's so good. I just want to keep reading, so I don't care. I'm not going back home. I'm just going to sit out here and just wait it out. I'm so glad I'm wearing a sweater today because, man, it's chilly. Well, it started to rain, so we are back in the car. <laughs> and we still have two hours before the library opens. I wish I would have stayed home, honestly, because it's so cold outside and I'm losing so much reading time, but... We're already in it now, so I can't go back. I'm just really trying to finish this book as soon as possible so I can get to the third book. Even though it's really good and I kind of want to savor it, I do want to keep going and see if I can finish reading three books in one day. I just lost my bookmark. Ugh, this book is so good. This one line really stood out to me. So the guy, the brother, he's speaking to a bunch of kids and he's just explaining how there's not that many black people in his line of work and how that shouldn't deter them from trying new fields and not just going with the status quo or tradition. So he says, yeah, tradition has sometimes told us that only certain kinds of people should study certain things or engage in certain sports or play in an orchestra or what have you. But tradition is only about what people have or have not done. It's not about what they are capable of doing. How incredible is that quote? This book just keeps getting better and better, I swear. pouring outside but regardless it's fine i'm almost done with black cake i'm really excited to finish it because i want to see what happens but i also want to see if i can finish reading the next book i don't think i'll be able to but at least get halfway through that's my goal so at least get halfway through and i won't feel so bad about falling asleep and having to run around <laughs> all over the place trying to find a place to read. I think with these 24 hour reading vlogs, I just gotta stay my butt home. Like, yes, the library is nice, but unless I already have a plan and I know when they open, <laughs> I feel like I wasted like two hours traveling and then the three hours that I slept. So that's five hours out of the 24 hour reading. 
but you live and you learn. I feel like it was still really good because I read some really good books and I want to see how this ends. Try to see if I can get to the next book and see if it's just as good as the other two. Can't be mad at that. I just made it back home from the library. We are 22 hours in, so I have two more hours left. This book was incredible. I gave it five stars. It was so complex, so heartbreaking, so heartwarming. It was just such an incredible book. I completely understand why people rate this a five-star book, because I did too. But now, a lighter read. This is To All the Boys I've Loved Before. This is our final read and I just want to see how far I can get into it with two hours to spare. We're starting at 4.06. Let's see how far we can get. All right, it has been 24 hours. I only made it to page 87 in this book. I'm not really mad at that. It was really good and I was enjoying reading slowly. It was one heck of a ride today, I'm not gonna lie, but I did have a good time and I read some really good books. Out of all three books, I don't even know which one was my favorite. Every single one was really, really good. And yeah, obviously I didn't finish this book yet, but so far I really like it. However, this is very rare, but I feel like so far the movies on Netflix are better than the book. Only because I feel like the sisters' personalities are better in the movie than in the book so far. Like with Kitty, she seems a little more bratty in this book than she did in the, sh in the movie. Like in the movie, she was more sassy and cute, but so far in here, I'm like, ew. <laughs> but hopefully that changes. Now with the books that we actually finished, I thought this was really good because at first it was kind of slower, it was like slow pace, but it still kept my attention. And then out of nowhere towards the end, just so many things were happening so quickly and it was a really, really good read, kept my attention the entire time. And this little gem here, oh my goodness. This was jam packed with so many topics, so many different tragedies and like triumphs. Oh my God, this book was an emotional roller coaster, but it was very, very good. I know I'm usually bad with rating books, but this one I know is a five star read. It was so good, so complex, and I can't wait to delve into it more. This one I hope to finish by the end of this week, but regardless, I am very happy with what we got done. It was not ideal. It did not go as planned. I did fall asleep there for a little bit. I also lost a lot of time traveling, trying to go to the library, trying to go to the cafe. But all in all, I would still say today was a success. I read a lot of great books. I felt like I learned so much from them and I had a good time. It was a nice rainy weekend and I loved spending it with you. So thank you so much. If you made it to the end, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.